Hey, hey, what's going on, y'all? It's No Ceilings back again with another video. Today, I'm gonna show y'all basically how to make vocal chop. I call it a vocal synth, whatever you call it. Basically, we're gonna use my voice as an addition to the track. We're gonna use it as an instrument, make it sound lit as fuck. You feel me? But without wasting time, without me rambling and doing all those sorts of crap, here's the beat. Here's what I came up with. Let's go. Oh, I forgot my tag. I forgot my tag. Hey, no ceilings. I love you. Mwah. Hey. Alright, yeah, I get the idea of the track, you feel me? What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to do this with paid plugins and free plugins as well, you feel me? So, connect your mic, record. So now, for instance, for me, like, I wanna make a switcher right over here because, like, it's getting repetitive, you feel me? Like, there's no change up until this section. I call this the bridge. For me, I feel like same shit repeating here and it gets boring. So, for me, I'm gonna add vocal chop there and then once it's done we can see like you can structure the whole track the way you want but as long as you got the vocal chops in there i mean it's a great addition you feel me like it makes an addition you feel me it's like sprinkles there's change ups makes your track sound interesting as hell let's go ahead and do it all right this is the part that i want this shit on you don't have to sing anything you don't have to even know how to all you gotta do is like <laughs> like random shit you feel me like, like just keep rambling like try to sing at least like you know like be melodic a bit like <laughs> do all that shit and then i'm gonna show you how to like change all that shit and make it sound as lit as motherfucking i don't know what you feel me y'all watch and see okay i'm gonna start crazy right now but y'all watch and see okay i'm gonna blow the fuck out of your minds you feel me let's go <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, listen, listen. Don't judge me, yeah, okay? Alright, cool. So, what we're gonna do is pull up Slice X, and then this is the focus chop. This is what we recorded, right? So, we're gonna drag that into Slice X, okay? Close out of that, clear out the fucking auto dump, okay? So, we got the tag number five on the major, sir. We're gonna come here. You come to medium grid slicing. So, all of this shit is sliced. Doesn't matter how it is. Always pitch this down like whatever, like 300 cents, 400 cents. It doesn't matter. And you don't have to be in key. Okay, I'm gonna show you. Everything is automated in this shit. You feel me? So, yeah, I got have no knowledge at all. You just gotta know what key your beat is in. Okay, and what scale you're playing. And that's it. Okay. Untick auto dump, close out of that, open your mix chain. The first thing you know what effects chain will be auto tune. Auto tune is a paid plugin for this. There is Peacher. Let me add that. I'm gonna show you both examples with free and paid plugin, okay? Basically not free, but it comes with FL. I'm gonna first show you how with auto tune. Next on the effects chain, bow, you gotta have chorus, okay? Leave it at the stock preset, turn it down a bit, okay? And then reverb, turn the shit size up. Wet up, decay up, still rising like fuck. 
lock cut it a bit reduce the high cut okay and then we go adjust as we go delay time put it all the way top ping pong use the volume offset it the right that's the effect chain for now and we go adjust as we go just to make our life easy high pass and eq and that's it okay because we don't want that low rumble now on auto tune we go to minor because my beat is in the minus minus scale and i'm in the key of c tracking all the way up humanize all the way up retune speed all the way up input type instrument okay and that's that <laughs> I uh, we found like I found a sequence that I want to play in Okay, it's not a perfect job. It's a lot of delay when I press on the key So we gonna adjust that but first let's play this shit, okay, and let's get the keys in and let's record it Okay, so once we got that we can adjust and fine-tune everything else. Okay, so let's go So now I'm gonna quantize this shit, okay? I'm gonna like adjust the markers where the chop hits. We have it in sync with the beat, okay? Basically, there's no delay. <laughs> So, as y'all can see, like, over here, the marker was there, but I adjusted it now, so I can fine-tune it while I listen to it, okay? I will take it to the next level is mute everything else, okay? It might work, it might not work, okay? So it's the easiest way to do it. I mean, you don't have to render that or record it into Edison, then put it back on the playlist, pitch it up, and then like all that shit. Like, it's a long process. So, the method I do in the easiest way is this is the chop that we want, okay? This is the chop. We want to add an octave higher. So, how we're going to do that is one more drama highlight, only one, one section of it like that. And then I'm going to come up here where the master volume and the master pitch is I'ma pitch it all the way up and I'ma take a listen to it pull up Edison everything else is muted we press record here and play there okay so now once we have that we put it back on the normal pitch and drag that to our playlist okay and then from there like i'm going to check out the routing from the main master channel okay both of them and i'm assign them to its own pre-master fader okay so we're going to check it to track number eight and then we're going to rename that vox chop mix okay and now we have both the signals are going into one place we can manipulate them together like compress them distortion all that it's going to affect it together meanwhile we have them separately on the mixer track as well so you can manipulate it differently if you want over here and over here the main and the manipulated mixer track and then you can do it all together as well okay so we are gonna go on the main fork chop okay and there's that annoying frequency we're gonna take it out give it some air the further we can manipulate it like this is the high pitch coding take it off the grid a bit okay oh, and elbow everything we got picture over here disable auto tune 
the high pitch tone we already recorded we're gonna leave it like that only because it's gonna remain the same okay the process is the same you put this all these effects on and then you turn this pitch up and then you record and then you lay it and then time like put it off the grid a bit as I just did as, as you can see over here so with picture um, basically you gotta choose your key in my case it's C my scale is minor and I leave everything else as is okay and then the speed has to be on fast fine-tune zero make sure format is unticked and you can just fuck around with this dial over here and see how you like it but this is how it sounds with the picture I'm a first play without the high pitch tone and then we gonna mix it up together yeah just so so if this is too much going on for you we're gonna take out the banjo sheet and we're gonna let it play with the pen and rack out So, you yeah, better be using this, it's a technique, like, a special, bro, like, a special, a special, a special, like, if you're having beat block, you're having problems, being creative and all, use this as a tool to add more, to, like, to add depth, to add changes, to add some originality to your tracks, okay, rather than using plugins and vocal chops from kits and shit, you can use that, be unique. And it sounds as good. And I'm telling you, like, someone listen to that shit, you can't even know. Like, the previous track I made, you can go listen to it, okay? You can see, like, those vocal chops. Everyone who ever heard that track I sent to, be asking me, like, how the fuck you got those vocal chops? They sound fire. They sound fire. It's like some quiet symphony type shit, you feel me? And I'm like, I made this shit myself with a simple trick, which is this, and I decided to make a video about it. So, experiment with that. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. And with that, I'm gonna catch you next time. I'm out. It's no ceilings on the beat. Peace. See y'all later. Adios.